Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today I am finally going to show you my craft project where I am going to make my dish soap dispenser for my kitchen sink. So, let me first show you some of the things that I'm working with to make my cute dish soap dispenser for the kitchen sink. Now, you already saw that I bought some mason jars. Um, I bought the ones that are smooth without the uh, imprint on the glass. And that's this right here. And I was going to frost it with some spray paint. You can buy frosting uh, pa uh, spray paint that's frosted. But I remembered I had some sea glass spray paint. So I used the green and it gave it just a slight wash of color, which I love. And because since I was going to be adding flowers or greenery to this, I thought the green was appropriate. And what I did was I taped off the top here so that the rings where you screw on the lid would not get any paint on it um you know when you screw the lid back on then <clears throat> i'll be using dishwasher safe mod podge reason for that is is that i am not going to put this in the dishwasher but this will be sitting on the side of the sink and so it will get splashed on and it will get wet so I don't want all my work to get damaged from it getting wet. And dishwasher safe Mod Podge, once you put it on and it dries, it has to cure for 28 days or for four weeks a month before you let it get wet for it to be waterproof or, yeah, well, basically waterproof. So that's how the dishwasher safe Mod Podge works. Now, are you seeing all of these beautiful flowers? Guys, these are called washi stickers. You heard that right. Now, most of you have heard of washi tape. This is the same thing, but they've turned them into stickers. And I found them online, and you can get a whole package of stickers with a theme. And, of course, I, I chose the flower theme. And... You get all of this, and I think there's like two per, so each of these piles you see, there's at least two in that pile, and you get all of these in the package. So I'm going to pick some of these out, peel off the back, and we're going to stick it to my glass, and then I'll decide if I want to do anything else, and then the last step will be to seal everything in with the dishwasher safe mod podge so guys it's going to be a hard choice picking out which flowers i want on that okay so let's get started decorating okay guys i've almost narrowed it down i love these lilies actually these aren't stargazers but stargazer lilies are my favorite but i do love all kinds of lilies so of course i was drawn to those i also love these with the little white flowers because i love all of the green and I loved this one. Some of the other ones were just a little too big. So they they got eliminated because they were just too big to go on the jar. But this one was pretty because it had white 
and um, that's a, a kind of a shade of a mauve or pink and then all the green f leaves so I really like this one and then this one I thought really complemented that one with the same shades uh, in the flower so I think that we're going to go with these to decorate the glass. Now I pulled out the Mod Podge tools that Miss Debbie from Remy, Lily, and their mama's channel, she sent that to me to help me with Mod Podging. So we're going to give those a go today. So like I said, these are very, very thin. They're, ju they're just like washi tape. And all you have to do, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to peel these because they're so thin. I have broken off all my nails or they split and then I had to cut them super short. See, that's how, th how thin these are, but they're so pretty. These would be beautiful on cards, but my first thought was these would be pretty on, these would be pretty with Mod Podging because they're so thin that once you stick them on whatever you've got, on whatever you want to stick them on, like a box, um, a decorative tray or um, what I'm doing here which is a glass jar or bottle and then seal it in with Mod Podge it's going to be really pretty okay maybe I should have found out is there a simpler way to peel off the backing or is it because these things are so thin. And I just don't have the nails to do it. I don't believe this. Okay, I think I got it started. Woo! See, you can see right through the sticker. That's how thin it is. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to pick a side. And I'm going to start laying it down. Because I don't want any bubbles. And I don't want any wrinkles, hopefully. Should have gotten a towel to lay the jar on. This works great. Sorry about that, guys. My camera cut off again. But I was showing you this nifty little rubbery tool in the Mod Podge kit. It works fantastic rubbing these stickers and getting the bubbles and wrinkles out. But I've got one more sticker to go. I 
put the big flowers on one side and on the opposite and then I put the little one in between so that's all the stickers that are going to be able to fit but I think it's still missing something so while the camera was cooling down I was on the hunt for something else to add to it and I thought that butterflies would be nice but all my butterflies were big but I think I found something that will do okay here's a pretty sticker tool and I'm going to start from the middle and then work my way to the other end and then I'm going to go over it a few times because I want to make sure that that is stuck especially around the edges Now, the very first flower I did that I didn't use this on, I do have some very minor wrinkling. And while I was looking for those butterflies, I should have gotten me a towel to rest this jar on so that it doesn't roll anywhere. But, too late now. Okay. Very pretty. This is the first one I put on. And see, there's a real slight wrinkle right there. And I think there's one down here somewhere. So, actually, I'm going to work on those a little bit just to see how much of the wrinkling I can get out. And again, you gotta make sure that your edges are down before you put on the Mod Podge. Okay guys, then I found these butterflies, but they're still too big. And I don't like the sparkly to go on this jar. So I took a few of them out and I took the butterfly apart and I cut off the sparkly. So I'm thinking that these will work. I'm just going to put two on here, one on each side. I wish I had some other butterflies. You know what? Actually, let me go check and see one more time just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, I'm back. And I did find some more. But... They're the same as the other, but I love these. I love the color, but again, they're still not exactly what I was looking for. So I think I'm going to see if I cut some from this wall sticker. Now these aren't sparkly. They're just kind of like a, a silvery gray. I think those will work better because these are still too loud. So let's go for it, guys.
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not showing you what I'm doing. Sometimes I get so focused on the project, I forget I'm filming. Okay, I know you can barely see it, but I actually think that's better than the really loud neon butterfly. The, the flash on the camera is drowning it out. You can see it in person a lot better. Okay, and then now we'll do one on the other side. Going over a curved surface with a flat sticker does not always go well. Actually, Probably need to snip if I put a little snip right there, it'll probably lay flat. Okay, and then there's the other little butterfly. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to put these butterflies away. And now I am going to put on a couple coats of the Mod Podge. Now, you use this the same way as you use all the other Mod Podge. I'm going to set it on top of this. You just put on the Mod Podge. A nice, good, even coat. And then let that dry for a few hours. Come back and put on another coat. Or you could just let it dry overnight. Come back the next day and do you another coat. Because we want to seal in. Okay, guys. I'm back. Now my Mod Podge has dried. So my container is ready to go. But of course, I can't use it yet. I got to let the Mod Podge cure for a month because it can't get wet until then, since I'm using it in my kitchen. And I've gone ahead and removed the 
masking tape that I had at the top that protected the circular area. I've got my pump. And um, I need to take this back off because this goes on the inside. And now I'll reattach it. This now turns your mason jar into a pump. And I'm going to put dishwashing liquid on the inside that I'll have access to for doing my dishes. But since my countertop is granite and this is glass, I don't want this... See how it'll slide everywhere? I'm going to take a piece of foam. Um, you could also use the little round discs that you find like on the bottom of mirrors. But I already have sheets of foam. So I've already cut a piece that will fit on the bottom of this. And I'm going to glue that in place and see it'll stop the glass from sliding on another slick surface. Now, this comes with a peel and stick on the back, but that's probably not going to be strong enough to stay stuck to the glass permanently. So, I'm going to go ahead and peel this off, but I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue on the glass. Because I want this to be permanent. I don't want it to come off. Okay, so now I'm going to peel that off. And then stick this on the bottom of my jar. Then I'm going to turn it over, give it a good press. And then I'm going to sit this to the side because, again, like I said, the Mod Podge needs to cure for a month before I can fill it and put it to good use. But I've also decided that I want to put a cute little ribbon on here as well. And you can put whatever color ribbon you want. You don't have to put a ribbon on here if you don't want to. Okay, and then I just need to trim that. Make sure that 
both sides are about the same length. And I might need to tack one side down if it doesn't want to stay. But for the moment, I'm going to leave it just like that. Because I'm not going to mess with the surface. Okay, guys. And there is my cute new dishwashing liquid pump for the kitchen sink. I'm making sure that piece on the bottom is going to be stuck. Okay, guys, that is the end of that craft project. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that bell so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, love, hugs, and you got it, kitty kisses. See you next time.